What's going on YouTube? This is ParkerLight88 coming at you with another video. And in this video, guys, I just got home from work and I found out that there's a new trailer out for Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. So we're going to be checking out the new character and that is Ryu Ranger. Now, I can't say that I'm particularly excited for Ryu Ranger. Um, I personally am not a big fan of his design, as you can see here. Like, he looks very generic. The the colors, I really don't feel like do him justice, like with the white and then like the off-white. I know they're trying to stay true to like his design with like the gi and everything. And his gi is like an off-white as opposed to a white just because like, you know, he's the tireless trainer and all that kind of stuff. But I don't think that this translated very well to like a ranger costume. Outside of that, I think the design is kind of generic. And also Ryu, he's kind of a stocky guy. You know, well, he's a, he does, he's a thick guy and just in this ranger costume, it just makes him look really stocky. So I'm just not really a big fan of uh, the design. So Ryu Ranger being like the next like DLC character, I can't say that I'm the biggest fan of on paper. I feel like his design maybe needed, if there were like some other colors in here, like I think I did like a brief like look at into rearranger like at work and apparently he's supposed to be like the crimson hawk or something like that that's like his animal sign or something like that in which case if he's supposed to be the crimson hawk then maybe they should have put like some more red in here uh somewhere and i think that would have complemented this design a lot better i personally liked um chun -Li phoenix ranger much much better i think she would have made a uh, a better street fighter representative just because i think her overall design just looks better like you know the con like the the contrasting the colors they did a good job of like keeping the parts of Chun-Li that make her who she are but who she is but making her still look very ranger-esque for some reason for Rhea I just don't feel like that translated over um very well but um I do think this is uh interesting that they decided to go for um Ryu Ranger um kind of in the same vein of how you can kind of like pull in other people from different fighting game franchises or just other franchises in general by putting in characters like this this might attract more of like the street fighter scene or something like that and if it brings more people to the game then great so while i'm not a big fan of the design i have all the confidence in the world that Ryu Ranger will play awesome the developers have never let me down so with all that being said, let's go and check out Rear Ranger and see what he has to bring to the table and see what other things that we could possibly pick up on. Pina, and I'm your worst nightmare. <laughs> it's Morphin time! <laughs> oh my god. You must defeat my Shoryuken to stand a chance. <laughs> Alright! <laughs> okay, he's got the overhead! Alright, let's go! Whoa, that was kind of cool looking. Oh, there goes the Ryu thing, let's go! Chest hole. Ooh, double short you're gonna like. <laughs> the top suit. Oh, he's got an air super? Really? Alrighty! Dude! <laughs> Please, stop! Oh my goodness. See, all the confidence. Hmm, Shinsho, let's go, boys. What was that? Did he just uppercut that? Okay, wave dashing. Dude, stop. <laughs> it looks so cool. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. I have all the confidence. Okay. I have all the confidence that he's going to play, like, so awesome. So much fun. Wow, nice effects. I like. Oh, they added more stuff to Dragon's Throne. Nice. I know the answer lies ahead. You ready for this? All right. Okay, I'm with, I'm genuinely going to be excited for um, Chen Li Ranger. Okay. All right. Nice. Okay. Bringing new flavors to the table. So genuinely going to be excited for Chun Li Ranger just because I like her her overall character design. I think it looks better than Ryu Rangers, but. Dude, stop, Ryu Ranger. He's gonna be so much fun, man. Okay, let's go into analysis mode and see what we can pick up. There were definitely some traditional Ryu things in there, for sure. So let's go back and check that out and see what we can pick up on. So, Q Ryu Ranger. 
All right, so we got the Shin Show. That's his EX. Nice. The intro pose. Nice. Crimson Hawk Ranger. I wonder what his other color palette's gonna look like. All right, so talk to. Okay, so this is important. And this is a Street Fighter Four thing. You see here how it goes straight through the boomerang? So that probably means that doing Tatsu is projectile invincible, which is cool. I'm willing to bet you that's back special. All right, and we got uh, the donkey kick, chest toll. It's not actually a donkey kick. That's just what everybody calls it. But uh, yeah, so we have that. That's either going to be a command normal or that also is a special uh, move. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, all right. So here's his overhead. This is most likely going to be forward with medium bunch. Uh, that's right, yeah, yeah. So that was probably catching the light. That was a stand up. Let's go back and actually look at that really quick. So we got the overhead here. So we got the crouching light. That's most likely standing medium. Uh, maybe that's a heavy as well. And then we go into the fireball. That's probably his neutral special, obviously, right? Reset opportunity, cross under. Another overhead. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. That's probably forward heavy, where he does the hook like that. EX Fireball. That's interesting. So it shoots out and then it comes back. Very interesting. And causes a crumple state. Wow. Stop. Okay. Throw into a ground bounce. All right. All right. Fireball. Okay. So sure you can. Doing sure you can things. That is most likely going to be his forward special. So we do it into another sure you can. And it looks to me, because I saw two different heights here. Two different heights of Shoryuken. So there's a light, there's a short one right there. And see how he goes higher? That means he has different versions of the Shoryuken. Maybe, that'd be interesting. All right, we have Air Tatsu. There's no way he doesn't have directional inputs. I mean, actually, no, 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 that could just be his air special. Never mind, never mind. Let me stop. Okay, into to Shoryuken. Air Super. So Ryu will be the first one to have an Air Super. I wonder if it always goes down if you can angle it similar to like Marvel 3. So, good projectile durability. Wow, dude. I'm really curious what that move is like on block. Let's go back and look at that, because that's an EX move, y'all. Yeah. yeah, that's an EX move. So, I wonder what that move does on block. Okay, Chesto, yes. Uh huh. Tatsu. Very nice. Overhead. Shin sure you can. The answer lies in the heart of the grid. <laughs> sure you can dim out of the EX. So does that mean his sure you can? Wow, really? Hmm. Now, here's the thing. I'm not convinced that you can actually sh sure you can people out of their EXs because Daishi is a bad example. Daishi doesn't have full invincibility on his EX. You can throw him out of it. It does have armor. But I don't think it's fully invincible, so that might not be a good example. All right, I think we got to look at his wave dash in there a little bit too. Let's go back. Let's move in. Uh, yep, wave dash. All right. Mm-hmm. Now, was that an instant air tatsu? Is that what I saw? Is that an instant air tatsu? I hope that's not an instant air tatsu. That, if that's that's either an instant air tatsu or maybe that's one of his uh, another command normal that he's got. I'll be very interested to see. And he actually has three EXs. Jester was what? right. He has three EXs, so he has EX tatsu, EX fireball, and EX uh, sure you can. Wow. Alrighty, that's probably jumping medium punch where he does the, the two hits. And it causes a ground bounce. What is that? Uh-huh, uh-huh, light, yes, yes. Oh, okay, that must be an overhead, some, some overhead strike he has. I don't know, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Jeez, dude, look at those effects. That looks so much better than Trini's um, Kamehameha, her super mega beam, mega beam. Wow. All right, is that it? Oh, actually, no, wait. There's also one thing I wanted to go back and look at. Let's go back and look at the stage really quick. They actually made some updates to uh, Dragon's Throne, I believe. I think. Let's go back and look at that. 
They made some updates to Dragon's Throne, I think. I'm really curious. I'm really curious as to. Uh, I'm actually going to be very interested in Ryu's arcade playthrough and what story elements are brought there. Like what else we can pick up on. But yeah, so you got Zed's staff over here, right? It looks like there's you. That was never there before. I'm pretty sure that was not there before. This thing over here was definitely not here before. So, oh yeah, yeah, none of that was there before. So it could be like the Cenozoic era, era where they're just adding like a version that has extra stuff to it. So maybe you have Draken's throne room and then you have like Zed's throne room, which is where all this extra stuff is coming from by chance, which is, uh, it's okay. You know, I think it, the stages having more stuff in them makes them more exciting because they're kind of blandish. You know, some of the stages are. So, I mean, if we have to keep Dragon's Throne, then I think a lot of this stuff will actually help. All right, I think we are we are Gucci on this. Let's go back to our audio. Your lies ahead. You ready for this? And then we get Chun-Li Phoenix Ranger. I'm generally going to be excited for her. I love her design. Her design looks looks really good. I think it's a nice blend. So I'll be very interested to see how uh, Chun Li Ranger is going to play. Ryu looks sick though. He looks sick though. So this is going to be coming at the end of May. I'm very curious as to what gameplay. Are we actually going to get like a patch with this? Is this going to address characters, or is it literally just going to be the same game, but these two are coming to the game and seeing how it shakes up? Um, honestly, if, if it is going to be like that way, I wouldn't complain because it'd actually give me more time to actually put out that tier list video. Um, but I imagine there are probably going to be some changes that are going to be coming with this, because obviously you had like that version of Dragon's Throne, which is either just an updated version of Dragon's Throne, or maybe it's like Zed's Throne, or something like that, so, yeah, we'll see. But anyway, guys, yeah, it looks like that will do it. That was, uh, that was a pretty sick reveal. So what are you guys thinking about um, Ryu Ranger and then teaser of uh, Chun-Li Ranger? Are you guys digging it? Are you not digging it? Um, it said Street Fighter Pack, so it's not exact. So it's not a season four. So fingers crossed for Trent Mercer being the first reveal for season four. I feel like that's kind of what everyone's expecting. But anyway, guys, that will do it for me. I will see you later tonight for uh, Dragon's Throne with uh, Remy and then Training Lobby Tuesdays. And uh, yeah, this is Parker Lad, and I will see you guys next time. Or real soon, rather.